Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I'm going to show you five easy DIY hacks which you can do on your fidget spinners. If you don't know what a fidget spinner is, it's mostly known as a toy, but it's actually a tool that claims to help you focus if you fidget a lot. Some people with ADD, autism, or anxiety can find it helpful, and it's also possible that it can help relieve your stress. You can just like hold a fidget spinner and get that part of your brain to just focus on this while the other half focuses on the task at hand. Uh, however you choose to use a fidget spinner, it's ultimately supposed to help your brain. I'll show you some fun ways on how to customize your fidget spinners, and if you want a tutorial on how to make one from scratch, there are so many good tutorials on YouTube. Fidget spinners are like blowing up on YouTube, and I will put a few of my favorite tutorials in the video description below, so definitely go check those out. I will put all the links and supplies I used in the video description below, and you can definitely apply any of these ideas to your homemade spinners as well. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. I post something new every week and be sure to hit that like button and tell me in the comments below which of these spinners is your favorite and also be sure to follow me on my social links I post uh, behind the scenes kind of stuff over there and new tutorials coming up so definitely go follow me and let's get into it first I'll show you an easy way to make your spinner look like it's made out of marble I'll be using black oil pastel on a white fidget spinner this technique is really easy, and the best smudging tool, in my opinion, is your finger. So you want to start with a smudgy underlayer of black lines, and add more smudgy layers on top of that to create a dimensional marble look. And it helps if all of the marble lines are going in the same direction. And you want to add a defined line on top of the smudged area to give it a realistic look. Repeat this all around the spinner, and it does help to search white marble to find an image for reference so you have something to look at. When you're happy with how the marble looks, you then want to wash your hands so you don't get any of the black smudge anywhere else. Then seal your design with some type of clear varnish. I'm going to use this Mod Podge hard coat, and you could even try a nail polish top coat. Brush it or spray it onto your spinner and do it lightly so that you don't smudge any of the artwork that you made and let that completely dry. And now this plain white spinner is a little bit fancier and cooler because it looks like it's made out of white marble. And as you could see it was really easy to do and you could even try this on a black spinner with a white oil pastel or any color of your choice. This next one is for the cactus lovers out there, and yes, you can modify your spinner to look like a prickly pear cactus. I first remove the center caps, and to make the cactus part, I'm using Model Magic Clay. Use a little bit to form a cactus shape on the outside parts of the spinner, but be sure to not get any in the center bearing. I wrapped the clay around both sides of the spinner and just shaped it to look like that shape of a prickly pear cactus. And I also did a test spin just to make sure that it doesn't hit my hand while it spins. Since this is going to be more bulky than the average spinner, I also put clay on the center caps and this will widen your grip so it's less likely to hit your hand while it's spinning. And following the instructions on the Model Magic clay, I then let those pieces completely dry. When the clay is all dry, you can then paint it, and I'm using acrylic paint for this. I made the entire spinner green, except for the ball bearing in the center, you don't need to paint that, and I also painted the center caps. After a couple of coats, I let that completely dry, and now I have my cactus shape spinner. I put both of the center caps back on and just did a test spin to make sure everything was working alright. Now I'm going to make three-dimensional needles with puffy paint. But you could also do this with regular paint or pen. With the puffy paint, squeeze out a little and then taper it off as you lift the bottle up. And this will create a three-dimensional spike that looks like a cactus needle. And repeat that in rows all around the shapes. If it doesn't come out looking like a perfect spike, that's totally fine. You can also kind of shape it while the paint is still wet. Let the paint completely dry and then you have a cactus texture on your spinner. And though this may look sharp, it's really not because puffy paint just doesn't dry like a real needle, so don't be too worried if it hits your hand. The puffy paint I had on hand was gold, so I chose to paint all of the needles white with acrylic paint to make it look more like a cactus. And so there is your cactus fidget spinner. 
Model Magic Clay is so easy to work with that it makes me want to try other shapes on the spinners. So this could give you some ideas. You can even try like a donut. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below what you would make from it. I'm kind of obsessed with cactus, so I do like how this cute idea turned out. Another fun idea, try making a slime monster fidget spinner. I removed the center caps on this one, and you can see where I experimented with the glue gun on this part, and I will show you how to recreate that. You can use a glue gun to easily drip on the glue, and this will make it look like slime. Repeat that on the outside parts of the spinner to make slime drop shapes. You can make as many as you want and wherever you want. Here is what mine looks like, and now I'm going to cover it with purple paint. I'm using acrylic paint, and I do recommend using a glossy finish just to add to that slimy texture. I'm painting all around the plastic portion of the spinner, avoiding the center bearing, and I don't need to paint on those outer bearings because those will be covered. So here is the slime portion of the spinner, and I also painted the center caps. And now to make it look more like a monster, I'm putting six wiggly eyes all around the spinner and gluing those on with a glue gun. Repeat on the other side, and this part is optional, but I think it adds more character to the monster if you paint on eyelids on the wiggly eyes. When the eyes are all painted and dry, you can add the center caps back in, and then your slime monster is ready for a spin. I really like how the wiggly eyes just give it some character, and it's just a totally goofy and fun spinner. Another idea you can try is turning your plane spinner into a glitzy galaxy. I'm using this super chunk glitter, which I found at Michael's, and it's black with a hollow sheen. I think it looks really cool, but you can also use any glitter of your choice. I'm putting a layer of Mod Podge on the plastic area of the spinner, and then just went at it and poured the glitter on the glue. I brushed it around just to cover as much as I could, and I'm sure there's a cleaner way to do this if you want to be really meticulous and put each piece of large glitter all around the spinner, that's totally up to you. I kind of went glitter crazy and just tried to cover the surface as much as I could with a brush and the Mod Podge. I did this on both sides and all around the spinner, and then let the whole thing dry. To prevent any pieces of glitter falling off, I then went over it with another coat of Mod Podge. You could also go over this with a nail polish top coat or any clear sealant of your choice. After the glue is dry, I have a shiny, hollow, sparkly, galaxy looking spinner and I want to add more glitz to it, so I'm doing that with rhinestone adhesives. I found some that are pretty close to the size of the bearings on the outside, and I simply push those on top of them. I used six rhinestones total in pink, purple, and blue. And here is my glitzy galaxy fidget spinner. I think the different colors on the ends can really add to the spinning effect, and the light reflecting on the rhinestones while it's spinning makes it look like there's a light on the spinner. If you do want to add light to a fidget spinner, here's a really easy option. Most craft stores or party stores have these really inexpensive light-up rings. You can simply cut off the ring part because you don't need that, and trim off any excess to make it as flat as you can. I'm using strong adhesive glue dots for the center cap of the spinner, and push the ring onto the glue dots to make it stick. You do have to push the ring to activate the light, but once it's on, you're already holding the center so you can easily push it with your thumb, and this is just an easy idea to add something extra to your spinner. You could light it up even more by adding another ring to the other side, or make it look even better in the dark by adding glow-in-the-dark paint on the outside. I hope these give you some ideas on how you can put your own spin on your fidget spinner. And uh, again, tell me in the comments below which one is your favorite. I think I have to go with this guy, the slime monster. I don't know, it just it's so goofy and funny and I think this one is my favorite. If you try your own version of any of these, I would love to see your pictures. So share your spinner pictures with me on my social links and add a hashtag lemon. And definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and I will also put some related videos around here and I will link those in the video description below and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye!